Hello, how are we doing? Welcome to the kitchen. So I was scrolling <clears throat> Facebook and this recipe popped up. Well, I post a lot of recipes on Facebook, but <clears throat> this one just popped up. I just saw it about an hour ago and I had most of the ingredients and then I had to run to Walmart and get a few things, but um, we're going to make that and they are, I'll put the link for the recipe below, but they are, I think they're called banana blueberry oatmeal breakfast cookies. So you guys know I always keep my um, oatmeal peanut butter chocolate chip energy balls, always. I just ate the last two today and I was like, I want to do something like that but different. So these, um, I guess, uh, the government and the universe heard my thoughts <laughs> because this recipe popped up in my Facebook feed, so we're gonna make it. And let me turn you around and show you what we're gonna need. Okay, so you're gonna need a cup of rolled oats. You're gonna need two ripe bananas, um, almond butter, cinnamon, salt, and honey. That's what you're gonna need, but let me show you something real quick. You guys know my nutcracker that I bought? I finally started painting it, so. Let me show you. Got him spread out on the table here. We've got him started. He's looking pretty good. The green is going to need a second coat. I've already done a second coat for the yellow. And we're going to do his blouse, jacket, whatever you call it, um, in red. And we're going to paint his eyes blue, and his hair will be white. And I feel like he's going to need some glitter. He's going to, because the paint's real flat, so he's going to need some sparkle and shine. So when I get done painting him, I'm going to probably get some glitter and bells and whistles and dress him up. But that's how he's coming along. Okay, let's get to the cookies. All right, let's get this started. So the first thing you're going to do, got a little, little bit of oatmeal in my bowl is mash up your two ripe bananas. Yum. God, those smell good. What are you doing, stinker? Come here. Come here. Look at here. Oh, say hi, YouTube. Say hi, YouTube. Oh, there him is. There's little Alfred. Mm -hmm. Little Alfred. His mama had to go to work for a little bit. So him's hanging out with my moms and pops. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and Kips, of course, is down here at my feet. They're both at my feet. Because this is where the food is. What you doing, Kips? What you doing, buddy? He's getting used to him. Kips is real sweet and gentle with other animals. He's just kind of like, oh, I'm not the only child anymore. That's a bummer. He was getting real used to being the only child and all the love bombing. But he's getting more treats with this one around. <laughs> and lots and lots of attention. Lots more attention, too. I mean, the little one gets a lot of attention, but we make sure and not leave Kips out, of course. What are you doing, buddy? They hang out with each other, but Kips is kind of like, eh, he's all right. I guess he can stay. <laughs> and Riley's doing the get up in the middle of the night, baby. Baby go to the bathroom and let him out of the kennel, you know, puppies. They're like little baby humans. They cry and they got to eat and they got to go outside all the time. And they're not trained yet. Okay. Speaking of, we gotta mash your bananas up like baby food. Got a whole bunch of bananas over here, and I'm like, ooh, that's that's perfect. We need to use these bananas. I like my bananas real ripe, like this. That's mashed up real good. Chicken tortilla soup, too. It's on the stove. Okay, so there's that. And 
then you're going to roll in a cup of rolled oats. Stir in, whatever. I need a different, this ain't going to work. rug is sliding under my feet. Okay, you're going to put your oats in there. You're going to put in a quarter cup of honey. You can use honey or maple syrup. I just use honey. We go through a lot of honey in this house. Got honey. You're going to put in a quarter cup of almond butter. I think I prefer peanut butter, but this is better for you. And We're following the recipe, so here we are. And I like anything with fruit in it. I didn't used to be that way when I was a kid, but man, now just give me all the fruit. Unless it's tropical. I'm not big on tropical. Only like pineapple. But all the berries and bananas and apples and all that, I'll have that. Oh, preheat your oven to 350, by the way. Well, I'll tell you what, this almond butter is easier to work with than peanut butter, that's for sure. Okay, there's that. that got that going for us. teaspoon of salt and it calls for a half a teaspoon of cinnamon I think this was my grandma's teaspoon look at it's all beat up and old I think it was my grandma's and then my it went to my mom and then it went to me I think could be Shane's grandma's who knows okay so this is a half a teaspoon of cinnamon these turn out good, I think next time we're going to have to make a double batch. Ooh, that cinnamon smells good. Shane and I were making out our, we haven't gone grocery shopping for Thanksgiving yet, so we were making out our list. So we're going to go get stuff for Thanksgiving tomorrow, and we're doing our Thanksgiving on Sunday because everybody's work schedules are crazy. Shane has to work, all the kids have to work, and then I'm going to Lubbock. I'm off Thanksgiving week, um, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So Wednesday morning, I'm gonna get up and um, jump in the car and drive to Lubbock and have Thanksgiving with my sister. So you guys haven't seen Kimberly and the boys in a while, so we'll have to vlog that. Okay, there's that. And then the last thing you're gonna do this is real easy. The last thing you're going to do is fold in a half a cup of blueberries, but I have almost a, a whole cup. And these are fat blueberries. Mm, and they are sweet and tart. A little sweet, a little tart. Okay. There's that. It's kind of thin, isn't it? Did I tell you preheat your oven to 350? I think I did. Okay. And then I like to use my ice cream scoop, so let me get that. You need parchment paper on your pan, it says. Okay. dig around and find my little scoop. What is that? Something stuck in there. Alright, now we're making bacon. Okay, so I'm going to scoop this out. And it says two inches apart. These, these are going to be really runny.
Okay, let's get them in the oven. I can't tilt it because they'll, they're thin, liquidy. Put them in the oven. We won't do a thumbnail till they're baked. Okay, good. Alexa, set the timer for 10 minutes. Good afternoon, Amy. 10 minutes, 39. I don't know if it's 10 minutes. I'll have to go back on the recipe and look, but we're just going to start with 10 minutes. Look here. That's his spot. He likes to get up on that ottoman. Look at my Christmas cactus, you guys. It is in full swing. Look at all those blooms. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> it's like, hey, Christmas is coming. Christmas is coming. We got some more baby spiders. Plants are doing real good. They're all doing real, real good. Hey, Alfred. What are you doing, buddy? Are you taking a nap? Oh, gosh. Are you going to sleepy town? Okay, no, no. I... He's played out. Half under the couch. Let's go get him out of the oven. Now we can do a thumbnail. Look at that. The blueberries are all melty schmelty. We're gonna have to let them cool on this before we even put them on a cooling sheet. Whew. And then we have a little bit left. We're gonna put the rest in the oven. Yeah, I don't know if I can scoop those off. see if we can scoop them up yet. Yum. Okay, these are going to have to cool for a minute. We'll be back when it's time to taste them. Okay, we've got them on the platter. Boy, they came out pretty, didn't they? All right, let's see if they're good. They're not too sweet. These are a breakfast cookie. Hmm. Those are good. If you want something that's not too sweet, this is perfect. Um, these will be really good kept in the fridge and eat cold too. You can eat them warm or cold. You can really taste that banana. Mm. Those are good. I recommend this recipe. Oh, the recipe also calls for chopped nuts, but I didn't put any in there. I was like, I don't think I want nuts in mine. So, this is a good trade-up 
from the um, Oatmeal Energy Balls. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, yes, yes. I had enough in the bowl for three more cookies, so they're in the oven. Really good, easy little recipe. You can use any kind of nut butter you want. You can use peanut butter too. If you want them a little sweeter, put a, put a dash of sugar in there. Um, it only called for a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I probably would do a whole teaspoon of cinnamon because I, can, I can't really taste the cinnamon and I like cinnamon. So, um, I recommend a little more cinnamon. We better have another one. Mm. And the rolled oats are still a little firm. So they're good. They're not soggy and mushy. I'll be making these again. You could even add chocolate chips to this if you wanted. You can add chocolate chips, nuts, cranberries. Anything you want. But just the banana and the blueberry is really good. Add a dash more cinnamon. Real, real good. Real good. Okay, that's it. That's all I got. Got a puppy asleep at my feet. Kips is on the couch now. Shane's out in the garage going through his records and his bar. Riley's doing her nanny job. I'm doing laundry. And that's it. That's all. Thanks for hanging out with me. I love you. The Lord loves you more. Try the recipe. The link is below. See you on the next video.